What is going on gamers? Today we're going to be installing Cauldron onto our Apex servers. Having mods or plugins is an excellent way to bring excitement to your Apex server. While mods and plugins are both great, by default they're not compatible with each other. If you want mods on your server, you won't be able to use plugins, and if you want plugins, then you won't be able to use mods. There may be some features you want your server to have that you can't find any mods for, or maybe you want to add some features that don't require installation client side. With Cauldron, you can do both. While this is a great way to have both mods and plugins, it is only compatible with Minecraft 1.7.10 and 1.6.4. With a few steps, you can install Cauldron onto your Minecraft server, and we're going to show you how. For servers running 1.7.10, it's recommended to use Thermos as it introduced many performance improvements compared to Cauldron. You can find a guide on installing Thermos below the video. Our first step to installing Cauldron is going to be, of course, as always with our first step changing any server files whatsoever, is stopping the server. Once the server has been stopped, you're going to want to scroll down to the jar file drop down here. From there, you're going to want to Click it and make sure that you either scroll or you type in C-A-U-L and then Cauldron will pop up. Make sure to only switch to the version that your forge was previously on. For example, my server was running 1.7.10 right here, as you can see. So the version that we're going to pick of Cauldron has to be 1.7.10. We're going to go ahead and click that and it's going to ask us to change the version. Of course, we need to change the version and it's going to ask us to create a new world. It is always recommended that you reset the world when doing this to avoid corruption. For this video's purpose, we're going to go ahead and create a new world. From there, we're going to make sure that we save and that we restart the server. Now that we've stopped our server, what we're going to do is Head to the plugins tab on the left side of the page here, and then look for a plugin. You can search by category, name, description, or how long ago it's been updated. What we're going to do is search for vault, V-A-U-L-T. And what we're going to do is scroll down to find the one we specifically want, which is just called vault. Vault is a permissions and chat economy API. So once we found the plugin that we want, we're going to go ahead and click on it to go to its page. And as we can see from the top of the page, there's a bunch of versions, but none of them are the one that we want. Now we need to cross-reference the versions that are available here with our version of Minecraft. As you can see, our version isn't here, but we can head to either this page or the official bucket page, which is going to be linked under the video, to see if we can find the version that's compatible with our server. And this is the official bucket page. From here, you can see that we have overview, files, image, and all these special tabs that they've worked very hard on. So from here, we're going to go to File. And then by scrolling down a little bit, we can see the 1.7.9. Now, this is going to work fine for our version of Minecraft. So what we can do is just click on this little download file right here, and it's going to start downloading. Make sure that you click Keep, and then you click and drag it to a folder where you have all of your plugins that you want to put onto your server. As you can see here, I have Essentials, Permissions X, Vault, and World Edit. And if you want any of these, we're going to have links to these plugins below the video. So the version that we downloaded is the 1.14. Now back on the plugins page, usually what you do is you'd scroll down and look for the version. But as you can see here, we do not have the 1.4.1 version of this plugin. Usually what you do is click on the version, let's say that this was the correct one, and you just hit install. Now, of course, it's not going to finish installing because it's not the correct version. So what we need to do is head back to the main Multicraft page by clicking on the name of your server at the top here. From there, since we already have the file downloaded, all we need to do is install it through the FTP. So go ahead and head to FTP and log in. And then from here, head to the plugins folder. Once you're in the plugins folder, make sure to hit upload and then open up the folder where you have all of your plugins located. Go ahead and click and drag all of these to where the page tells you to drop your files. They're going to start uploading one by one and it'll tell you blank out of how many ever files you're uploading 
and what percentage they're at and when they're done by saying eight out of eight and then they'll all say 100%. When you fully uploaded all of your plugins, all you need to do is head back to the name of your server at the top there and then restart your server. When your server is in the process of restarting, you're gonna to wanna to head to console to make sure that everything is starting, all the plugins are loading correctly, all your mods are loading correctly, and that Cauldron is doing its job. And as you can see here, all of our plugins have been enabled, which means that Cauldron has done its job correctly and all the mods have loaded and the server is online. You have successfully installed Cauldron onto your Apex server. Now let's go ahead and go over some common issues. Many times when you're modifying the server, the server's gonna need to be confirmed before it'll fully start. So for example, if we start the server and head into console, we're gonna see that the server's giving us missing mod ID errors, which means that the server's trying to find a mod that isn't there. This happens a lot, especially when you remove or add mods. All you need to do to resolve this is head to the text box in console and type slash FML C-O-N-F-I-R-M FML confirm and then hit enter and then your server should launch as usual. And as you can see, our server started after we type slash FML confirm. Well, folks, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for using an Apex server. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.